Tasha Jenkins knows a thing or two about why she needs to keep her new minivan filled with enough gas. I usually go at about half a tank. Sometimes I get down to a quarter of a tank, but I don't like to go much lower than that. For Tricia, it's a matter of safety. She can't predict when she'll get stuck in traffic. Yeah, there have been many times out here on I-15 that I've been stuck for a long period of time. It's one reason why experts warn drivers not to let the gas drop below the quarter tank mark. But Jeremy Smith of Steve's Automotive Specialist has another. He says the gas in the tank helps keep the fuel pump cool. Keep the tank empty and you can burn out the pump. It's an electric motor and so if they're exposed to air and you're not getting as much cooling effect from that gas, they can get hot and they'll overheat. And you could be burning money if you're not buying the right gas for your car. A recent AAA study found Americans waste over $2 billion a year buying higher octane premium gas their car doesn't need. I'm sure some people are convinced that they get better mileage or that they have more power when they do. John Kelly teaches automotive technology at Weber State University. He says there's no benefit to running premium in a car that only needs regular gas. But pumping regular gas into a car that needs premium for a high-performance engine can hurt your ride. The fuel can ignite before the spark plug ignites it and you get a, this detonation or, or pinging sound that's that can be pretty harmful not sure if you should gas up with regular mid-grade or premium trisha has an easy solution i just looked it up in my owner's manual and that's what i use yeah thank you another thing you should know where you buy gasoline matters sure you might save a few bucks by gassing up at a station selling off-brand fuel but jeremy smith says it's best to look for major brand names because their gas is typically better for your engine Different brands of fuel will have different additives added to the fuel, which can help reduce carbon in the engine, clean the engine out, and make it perform better. And you may have seen those fuel additives in an auto parts store boasting about increased mileage if you put it into the tank. Well, unless it's approved by your car's manufacturer, don't buy it. John Kelly says it won't work, and it may even cause damage to your vehicle. And I bet there's more than a few drivers who just can't bear to leave the pump a few cents short of an even dollar. And so they add a bit more gas. It's called topping off, and it turns out it's really a no-no. Here's why. That extra fuel can build up enough pressure in the tank to push gasoline into the car's vapor collection system. That's only meant to hold, yep, vapor. And if there's liquid in it, it's not going to like that. And you'll get a check engine light, and then you'll have to take it to a shop and see what's going on and cost you a lot more money. Kelly says you also run the risk of damaging the engine, and that's a whole lot of money to fix. And so here again, Trisha has the right solution. Resist the temptation to top off. I just let it shut off and then I take it out.